What's up, people? I'm um, sorry about the like new layout and stuff. I just got Adobe Flash CS5. Why well, I got all the CS5 crap, like you know, the master collection. It cost me only like 200 bucks, so it was definitely worth the deal. And anyways, I tried to set it up as best as I could based on the last file. It's pretty close. So if we run it, we're gonna get 14. Let's run it right now, actually. 14. All right, good enough. It's a small box of pickles. One sec. Whoa. Good enough. Oh, we're in the wrong. See, this is about making that mistake. All of the code is gone. Don't freak out. An easier way to do that, just so you don't like get disorganized all the time, is this little pin active script. So even if I like click on the stage area, oops, didn't mean to do that. It even though it's on square, the square layer, see square one, you pinned it so you could go in between the two. Kind of neat, so you don't lose track and don't freak out. Anyways, back to working on this. Right now, we don't, this function that we made, it doesn't really do anything. I mean, all it does is take two numbers that are constant and it's not really reusable so we're gonna make it reusable by learning parameters parameters are what you put into this parentheses we've actually been using parameters as well well actually we've been using arguments there's arguments and then there's parameters arguments are this side when you actually uh, use the function so right now there's no arguments in this. The parameters is when you define the function. See, so, so for example, the trace would look kind of like this. It, it probably isn't because I don't know how to output to the window like they do. But trace um, and this is an int, so we'll say something. I like the spelling of that. It's comedical. Anyways, and then do something. So that's how the trace function is set up. This is the parameter, and this is the argument. So when you actually want to run something, the argument is what you put in, and the parameter is what you do with it, with what someone puts in. So let's, let's do just that. We're going to have two parameters. So we're going to have uh, num1 num and num2. And you could data type these, which we're going to do because we want them to be numbers. Number. And we're going to use them instead of orange and apple because orange and apple are constant. We don't want that. Do we? And you should be saying no at your computer right now or you, you'll break my heart anyways since you have these parameters you have to also have them in here so we're gonna have for the first one we're gonna have 9 and 5 actually no that you could do that in fact we'll do that we're gonna run another one these need a number and another number well, apple and orange are both numbers, so you could actually import, I mean, input apple and orange. And it'll get, it'll give the same value as that. And then you could do app, apple two numbers. Um, then you could do some, let's, you know, just plug, oh, I'm pretty sure you can't add a U. So we're going to. I can't do that off the top of my head, but your computer can. So we got 14, 
14 and 13,916. The, um, we're gonna put this up here. No, not up there. Come on. Nope. Alright, never mind. Guess you can't do that. Very sad face. Over here, maybe? Yeah, that's fine. It's alright. Um, anyways. So, first number, we did two actual numbers. Then we used two numbers that were data typed. And then we used two semi large numbers. As you can see, they all worked out. So, you basically built one of the s simplest calculators in the world. And it only adds two numbers. Pretty cool. But I mean, you could, instead of saying add two numbers, you could say multiply two numbers. So, we're going to get like 45, 45, and let me do this off the top of my head. That's what I thought too, man. I thought 48,241,539. But anyways, so as you can see, parameters are extremely useful, definitely in code reusability. Since we can now input any number instead of a constant number, the code itself will be dynamic. In other words, it will change as we input different things. So if I do that, it's not going to be 48 million, million. Oh, shit, it, that crap it is. No, that's actually 4 million. Wow. Anyways, so yeah, that is parameters. And we are done with this tutorial. And in the next one, I'm probably going to be finishing up functions. I didn't show you. Here, I'll give you a taste of what we're going to do next time. It's called data typing the function. It'll return a value. Now, what? You're confused? Well, you won't be next tutorial. And I will see you guys there.